Just stay here. Stay here. Relax. You're fine. I'll scratch your tummy. Roll over. All right. Just stay. All right. Condensate drains should never, ever have to be cleaned. And uh, I know there's probably some of you thinking it's the, it's the bourbon talking, but I can tell you for a fact that this is true. Because the only, the only water that comes out of an evaporator coil is distilled water. And, and my, I, my wife, she actually wears a CPAP machine. And I went down to Acme the other day and I picked up a gallon of distilled water and I was looking in there and I'm like, son of a gun, no dirt. Thinking, you know what? Dirt doesn't come in distilled water. Well, how does the dirt get in there? Well, it, it's pretty simple. It, it gets past crappy filters and crappy installed filters. And what I'm talking about here is simple. It's We've got to make sure that if we're going to put in a high quality filter media that we do a few things. Number one is we have enough of it. And by enough of it, I mean we have the correct filter face velocity. The filter face velocity is just simply the area of the filter in square feet divided into the cubic feet per minute of air we expect to move across the filter and that gives you feet per minute or the velocity of the of the dirt going across the filter. We want to keep that below 500, ideally in the 250 to 300 feet per minute range. That'll give you the best filtration. In a lot of cases, what we're talking about is doubling up the number of filters you need. And I'm not talking in series. I'm talking in parallel here. We have, we have, we're taking a 16 by 25 to a 32 by 25 filter area or putting a return on each side of the furnace. A lot of us call it in, in the industry, the big ass drop. And the big ass drop, the whole concept behind that is, is increasing the filter media. It's about lowering the air velocity as it goes across the filter. It's about removing the particulates before they end up on the evaporator coil. If we make sure that those particulates are trapped in that filter, then they never have an opportunity to land on the evaporator coil where they end up providing the food source for the biological growth that happens in the condensate drain. If we eliminate the food source, all we have is distilled water. How do we eliminate the food source? Again, we pay close attention to how the air bypasses the filter. We pay close attention to the type of filter media we have. We pay close attention to the velocity of the air uh, going through that filter. And we have this problem completely licked. And there's other advantages to this too. I mean, things as simple as sealing filter slots in a basement stop the dirt from entering the evaporator coil. They stop the dirt from entering the blower motor. They stop the dirt from residing on the control board. A ton of control boards in our industry, there's not a dang thing wrong with. They're just dirty. And that dirt, when it gets moist, tracks electricity to ground and messes with the circuitry. Just by keeping circuit boards clean, we can solve a lot of problems. All these problems are solved with just better filtering. And all these things are well within our control. So take a minute when you're on these jobs, look for those revenue opportunities to upgrade filtering because I'm telling you, it's a benefit to you, it's a benefit to the consumer, it's a benefit to everybody, and you're silly, it's just, well, let's put it this way, it's stupid not to look at those things because that's what we're in the business of doing. So we, we spend all this time, we, we design a system, and then we use Measure Quick to do the commissioning, and we walk away from it, and you know we have no idea that our landscaper's out there the next week blowing mulch and plugging up the condenser on the system because we have zero visibility in how that system's actually running. And this is why we are so passionate about monitoring and why we partnered up with Smart AC. One of the, one of the most important things that we can do after we do commissioning and installation, installation and commissioning is to, is to continually monitor that system after the fact and make sure that it continues to perform the, the same way as it did the day that it was commissioned. And this can be things you know as simple as just the consumer um, gets the new system and forgets to change their filter, right? Well, the software can actually detect and tell us that. It can all be as simple as the uh, week after we installed it, the cottonwood trees blossomed and blew all the cottonwood on the trees. The software can detect that, right? It's, it's about having visibility into the invisible. And if we use products like Smart AC, not only is it gonna be a benefit to your customer, but it's also gonna help level out your service. Because guess what? The day the cottonwood flew, it wasn't the hottest day of the year. It was 
a 75 degree day, right? It's spring. And now all of a sudden that system is starting to lose performance, but guess what? You got no visibility. You know when it's gonna break down? The hottest day of the year. You know when you got the most calls? The hottest days of the year. Imagine if you could find that problem on the mild days of the year and realize that you have a problem before your competition realizes anything's going on. Because now what you can do is actually service systems when they need to level, the, the level out the, the seasonality of our business. And uh, not monitoring systems is just silly. I mean, there were some older products out there that took an hour or two hours to install, and they did some pretty cool stuff, but I, Smart IC nailed it. It's literally a 10 minute installation. Magnetic sensors, stick them onto the ductwork, one in a return, one in a supply, a sensor on the, on the floor or on a drain pan to, to pick up water, and you've got, you've got it nailed. You can actually, detect the most prevalent problems with an HVAC system, and there's not a single thing you're gonna do. A dirty filter, let's say for example, what's gonna to happen to the, the return and supplier split? You're gonna get a higher temperature split. You got a dirty filter, right? Loss of charge, low temperature split. Dirty condenser, low temperature split, right? This is not rocket science. There's the software can determine very quickly by watching it run over time when it's starting to deviate from what the system sees as normal. And again, we're leveraging technology to solve problems. Well, what's the problem? Again, it goes back to it's making the invisible visible. It's giving us an opportunity to fix the system before the 95 degree day when we can't get to all of our customers because everybody's breaking at the same time. If you're not honestly deploying tools like Smart AC, it's part of your, your arsenal, you're, you're, you're missing the boat here. Well, Bourbon Friday has come to an end and it's time to get back to work. It's a uh, wrap up this glass. I bet Mr. Waffles, buddy, you wanna go out and play ball, huh? It's time to go out and do something. You probably go to the bathroom too, huh? All right, let's take you outside and let's go 